there's analysis in the Middle East, right? Well, I hope you have a wonderful weekend as much as we all do. It's me, Alex Music. Guess what happened to me? Mozart and friends? Wow. I, I, I can't wait to explain this uh, a little bit later, a few minutes. But first, I want to get inside the subject of you know who, Donald Trump. And you know why? Because according to RedState.com, which I'm going to be posting it, Joe Scar Scarborough calls out that Donald Trump is a scammer. Really, huh? And why? Because it, it couldn't... But I don't mean it as a slam. You know why? You know why? Because I cannot believe this. Yeah, anyone else. And, uh, and it's going to be outrageous. Outrageous about uh, in the, about this protesters all over this mess. So I'll explain to this right right now. We we'll always get started with the with the beginning of the week and all that stuff because the weekend is over. Let's get the week started, shall we? It's the final closing time factor video commentary thought commentary thoughts and let's get this this show started, shall we? Kick the theme music. Let's do it. The real conservative truth that lives right here inside your video set. This is the final closing time factor video commentary. Thoughts time factor. I want to start with a little bit of hot topic Monday. To start your Mondays right, and uh, and, I, and I'm and I'm because uh, because hate to break this to you according to Red State because Joel Scarborough calls out Donald Trump a scammer. Because you know why? Because last weekend over the weekend because they you know. The protesters are throwing, having a fit, whatever. As it sounds like Occupy Wall Street and Black Lives Matter, or or just just say Ferguson, Missouri protesters, and all that crap. Crap. Because everything else can be civilized. Because Donald Trump is is is, is making a whole idiotic mess of things. Because. Uh, because I try to warn Donald Trump, and I will do this again later later on today on on my radio show right here on the Blaze Radio Network, and I, this is gonna be worse. <clears throat> this is going to be worse about this. Now, as I said on last Sunday's Sunday Night News with me, Elite Music. You might think it's so smart that he, he is just a messenger. Oh, really, huh? Well, guess what? I'll post your face tomorrow for a bit of Wallace Watch on my Time Packer website. And see what the end that you will be before I do, do some damage. Because I have a, some tricks under my sleeve. Now, Here's your worst nightmare. As I said, Donald Trump dismissed criticism that he was that, that you were fueling fueling the fire for violence at at this campaign rally. rally. You might think it's so smart. He just a bit. Oh, shut up. America's just festering, frustrating, and urged campaign supporters in Illinois to give give her. Give me two years, blah, 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 to turn this country around. Oh. You think you're so smart that we have mean, we have protesters so mean, so bad, bad. This is what you just said on Fox News Sunday. You Sunday and give me one good reason why that I don't like this at all. Like this at all. Period. And now you know the rest of the darn story. Sorry. Listen to this from Donald Trump. As far as... Uh, listen, to, uh, listen to Chris... Uh, take a look at this from, from Chris Wallace. And see what happens... Uh, Chris Wallace, and see what happens next. So, I want you... I want you to listen to this. Listen to this. You have 
canceled their rally in Chicago on Friday. There had been growing violence at some of of your rallies around the country. And some of the rivals, some of your rivals in the Republican race say you have contributed to this with your rhetoric. Question, sir. Do you take any responsibility for the violence at your rally? First of all, I disagree totally, Chris, with what you said. I have my phone. What do you mean you disagree? 25, 30,000 people. Last week we had in Alabama 35,000 people. And out of that, we'll have some disruptors, sometimes put there by uh, other people. But we'll have some protesters, and nobody's been hurt at all. And no. <clears throat> as big as these rallies are, nobody's ever been hurt. Nobody's been hurt. What we, the hell? And I what the hell are you talking the about? These are very rough, and they're bad dudes, and they swing, and they punch, and nobody ever talks about that in the media. And if other people, including the police, because it's usually the police that handle it, if they get a little bit rough because they have no choice, the next day of the newspaper, it's that the police are up. But we have had nobody hurt. And when you think about it, when I have 25,000 and 20,000 people very routinely, by far the biggest, and we have some protests to stand up, who do you know that's been hurt over the last number of months? Well, uh, you wish. You said this too many times on Fox News Sunday last Sunday. Because I, because what? I don't bust your face tomorrow on my t on, on my Time Factor website for Wallace Watch on Tuesday. Tuesday that is tomorrow. Because you and you said and also you said on um oh yes NBC News the liberals meet the press that the people are angry at that and you say you're just a messenger. Shut up. Huh. Ain't that a trip? You know, Ted Cruz is right. You should be ashamed of yourself. And here's 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 one more thing. You might think you're so smart about about critical of Joe Joe Scarborough on these pages last week. And in fact, everybody's wrong. About that Scarborough is slobbering. Yeah, the slobbering love affair of Donald Trump in the way the way that people like Sean Hannity uh, Oh gosh, you are so ridiculous. Quote this this quote this from Joe Scarborough. Uh, because everybody knows because because perhaps they should have just used a New York developer in their own words ex against him ex to explain why last Friday's event took an ugly turn. And the time, and like the time, Trump said to a protester at a Las Vegas rally, I like to punch him in the, um, Joe, you're, you're not in the ball of this, do you? You're not for sale. And you, huh, huh. Sale, and you already had, already had, because, because I'm not so sure about this, because everybody blazes this, the GOP trail, to Sherman, is as this, the damage is done, Joe Scarborough, you're the one who's being, to a, to a, to a Republican, to a stupid Democrat, on MSN, MSLSD, the liberal. That's why the damage is done. And I'm going to blast him. Blast Donald Trump in the face. Whether you like it or not, Joe Scarborough. You, and you're not, and there's no audience about you, Joe. Because the party will never, you never be united with Trump as the nominee. Thank you. Thank you, Red State. How about this? First date, my conservative blog. It's gonna be cool. Ugh. Anyways, enough of this hot topics thing because I couldn't even stand a clue. Oh boy, talk about this five minute. We're we, we, we gonna get. Oh yes. Oh yeah, because you know, guess what? What happens at the weekend? Weekend night. Same with Omaha Semi Course for uh, Mozart and Friends. It was a blast, and I couldn't even imagine. That we just practiced uh, last week at First United Methodist Church, and I'm, you know, 
Great Super C is my source chorus, and so so is my chorus OSC. It, it was a huge blast. You will not believe your eyes because we sing uh, Zadok the priest, and I'm priest, and 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 uh, it could be the first part. Right, and 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 all that is that is in everybody else. You can still lie, so. It was a wonderful time singing with OSC, along with Grace University, Corral, and so is my Masterworks, Masterworks Corral. I love add a little help from Orchestra Omaha and Omaha Academy Choir. And, this is going to be, it was a wonderful show, and I'm very proud of what I, proud of whatever we're doing for OSC and all that stuff, so it was a, it was a blast last week because <laughs> uh, after we get finished start with um, Mass and C by um, Corn Coronation Mass and C and um, Janet Carson Campbell soaring to soaring to high points singing as a alto, alto and Paul and the uh, rest of the couple of sol soloists I never heard in my entire life so. So no, that should be fun. And um, after, at because after the after the concert, we have a wonderful time talking about uh, all that all these things about this and uh, others at the Olive Garden, and, and it was something that you all know about now. So who knows? So what comes next? The next I know is gonna be Illusions, and I'll let you know about this. It's gonna be April thirtieth. From 3 p.m. to 7:30 p.m. at Grace University. University, you're not gonna believe your eyes, and I. And I, we know that we will enjoy this because that'll, that'll be cool. So, um, so that is why I can say because right now I can't be civilized. I I have no clue. Anyways, um. <laughs> Dory would, and um, Dory OSC has some pictures inside my Facebook page, and I'm. People want to tag me, and I'm it. Yeah, right. Anyways, I gotta go. Don't forget to. Don't we, uh, I'll be here tomorrow, and I, I. That's my blast. Donald Trump in the face. Don't forget tomorrow. Super Tuesday is here, so trust me about that. Super Tuesday too. Two point. Sh sh should we say? 2.0, yeah, smart, very smart. Anyways, don't forget to Facebook and follow lhmusicfacebook.com, twitter.com, and all of you know my username, lhmusictime, so it's my typewriter website at lhmusictimefighter.jimgo.com. So it's my typewriter page on Facebook as well at facebook.com slash the only way LHMusic And better, you better listen and learn how to do your homework, and you better listen to Fox News, Fox News Headlines 24-7, it's all right here on Sirius XM 115. So trust me about that. Anyways, I gotta go. I'll see you later on today for an all-new LH Music and Cassandra right here on the Blaze Television Network. And so is my radio show. It's LH Music Time on the Blaze Radio Network. And don't forget, Primetime News is on later on tonight on the Hallmark Channel. Till we meet again, LH Music is about to sign off. Go guys, blessings. And I salute you, America. Take care. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.